this morning is 207, 207. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, well without end. Amen. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, Come let, let us adore him. him. Come, ring out your joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Christ, Christ the, Lord the Lord was tempted, was tempted and, and suffered for us. Come, Come let, let us adore him. him. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Christ, Christ the Lord was tempted, tempted and, and suffered for us. us. Come, Come, let us adore, adore him. him. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Christ, Christ the, Lord the Lord was tempted, tempted and suffered and for us. us. Come, Come, let us adore, adore him. him. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts to the merry by. As on that day at Massa in the desert, where your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Christ the Lord was tempted, tempted and, and suffered, suffered for us. Come, Come let, let us adore him. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, Thou heart shall astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Christ, Christ the Lord, the Lord was, tempted was tempted and suffered for us. Come, Come let us adore, adore him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ, Christ the Lord, Lord was tempted, tempted and suffered for us. Come, Come let, let us adore him. Hymn 207. Out of the direst steps I make my, my deepest, deepest plea. O oh, graciously bow down your ear, and listen, Lord, to me. If you, if you kept note of sins before you who could stand, but since forgiveness, forgiveness is your right, our reverence your command. I so long for the Lord, and hope to hear God's word, more keenly no than some watch for the Lord, I wait, I wait and watch for God. God. Yes, yes, with the Lord is grace and power, and power to free and save, and save redemption, redemption from their every sin, God's people yet shall have. Give joy to your servant, Lord, Lord for, to for to you, you I, I lift up my, my soul. soul. Turn your ear, O Lord, and give answer. For I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God, have mercy on me, Lord. For I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord. For to you I lift up my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiven, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. In a day of distress I will call, and surely you will reply. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, no work to compare with yours. All the nations shall come to adore you, and glorify your name, O Lord. For you are great, and do marvelous deeds, you who alone are God. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Guide my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depths of the grave. The proud have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. To you the pay no heed. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord, abounding in love and truth. Turn and take pity on me. O oh, give your strength to your servant, and save your handmaid's son. 
show me a sign of your favor, that my foes may say to their shame, that you console me and give me your help. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Give joy, joy to your servant, Lord, Lord for, for to you I lift up my soul. soul. Blessed is the man who walks, walks in justice and speaks, and speaks what, what is true. true. Hear you who are far off what I have done, and you who are near acknowledge my right. The sinners in Zion are afraid, trembling as sees the godless. Who among us can dwell with devouring fire? Who among us can dwell with everlasting burnings? He who walks righteously and speaks uprightly, who despises the gain of oppression, who shakes his hand lest they hold a bribe, who stops his ear from hearing of bloodshed, and shuts his eyes from looking upon evil. He will dwell on the heights, his place of defense will be the fortress of rocks. His bread will be given him, his water will be sure. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. Blessed is the man who walks in justice and speaks what is true. Acclaim the King, the Lord. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord all the earth, bring out your joy. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the sound of music, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, acclaim the King, the Lord. Let the sea and all within it thunder, the world and all its peoples. Let the rivers clap their hands, and the hills ring out their joy. Rejoice at the presence of the Lord, for he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with fairness. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Acclaim the King, the Lord. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. The Lord your God has chosen you to you to be a people for his own possession out of all the peoples that are on the face of the earth. It is because the Lord loves you and in keeping the oath which he swore to your fathers that the Lord has brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the house of bondage from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. And from the evil word. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. Do you think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets? I have, I have come, come not, not to, to abolish them, them but, but to complete, complete them. them. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who his prophets from of old. A Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. For his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us, a free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, 
who might serve me in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Do, Do not, not think, think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. Have I have come not, not to abolish them, but to complete, complete them. them. Blessed be Christ our Saviour, in him we become a new creation. The old, old order passes and all things are renewed. Let us pray in living hope. Renew us, Lord, in your spirit. You promised us, Lord, a new heaven and a new earth. Renew us in your spirit that we may come to the new Jerusalem and rejoice in you forever. Renew us, Lord, in your spirit. Let us work with you to fill the world with your spirit. Let us perfect our earthly city in justice, charity and peace. Renew us, Lord, in your spirit. Grant that we may put aside our apathy. Help us to recognize with joy the power you have given us. Renew us, Lord, in your spirit. Set us free from all evil. Show us in the confusion of our lives the things that really matter. Renew us, Lord, in your spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this, this day our daily, daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead not us not into temptation, but deliver, deliver us from evil. Amen. Schooled by our Lenten observance, Lord, and nourished on your word, may we give you wholehearted service through our self denial and through our prayer become one in heart and mind. We make our prayer for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today and all the days of our lives. Amen. Amen. Let us say the prayer for priests. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, we thank, thank you for every priest who has faithfully, faithfully given his life for the salvation, salvation of his brothers and sisters. And sisters. We, we give thanks to those priests, priests who have brought, brought us your word of truth, the grace of the sacraments, and above, above all the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, to your, your Son, Jesus Christ, Christ who called the apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up new and generous vocations of priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call, and enable them not to be afraid, but to recognize the joy of giving their whole lives and love. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives, who lives and reigns forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for Patrick Coyle.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that schooled through Lenten observance and nourished by your word, through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, And now, Israel, take notice of the laws and customs that I teach you today, and observe them, that you may have life, and may enter and take possession of the land that the Lord your God of our fathers is giving you. See, as the Lord my God has commanded me, I teach you the laws and customs that you are to observe in the land you are to enter and make your own. Keep them, observe them, and they will de demonstrate to the peoples your wisdom and understanding. When they come to know of all these laws, they will exclaim, No other people is as wise and prudent as the great nation. And indeed, what great nation is there that has its God to so near as the Lord our God is to us, wherever we call on him? And what great nation is there that has laws and customs to match this whole law that I put before you today? But take care what you do, and be on your guard. Do not forget the things your eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your heart all the days of your life. Rather, tell them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars on, of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. Oh, oh praise, praise the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters all frosts like ashes. Oh, oh praise, praise the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel, his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Oh, oh praise, praise the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Let us stand for the Lord. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not imagine that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to complete them. I tell you solemnly, till heaven and earth disappear, not one dot, not one little stroke shall disappear from the law 
until its purpose is achieved. Therefore, the man who infringes even one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be considered the least in the kingdom of heaven. But the man who keeps them and teaches them will be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. The common theme of the readings this morning is the law of God. In the first reading from Deuteronomy, Moses urges the people to be faithful to God's law without adding to it or subtracting from it. They did add to the law of God. They added their own traditions, which came to be regarded as equally binding and sometimes got in the way of God's law. In the Gospel, Jesus declares that he came not to abolish the law of Moses, but to fulfill it. He had several clashes with the scribes and Pharisees over the law. They were concerned with fulfilling the letter of the law. He was more concerned with fulfilling the spirit of the law. And he distinguished between the law of God given through Moses and the traditions that had been added to it. He didn't hesitate to set the latter aside when he found that they were defeating the purpose of God's law. For his own disciples, he proposed new standards of goodness that transcend the law of Moses. Christians live not by the law of Moses, but by the law of Jesus. Let us pray, Lord Jesus, by your grace, may we venerate the divine scriptures as we venerate your body and blood in the Eucharist. And from these two tables, may we find the strength and sustenance to live the Christian life. Lord, hear us. We ask our lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray the prayers of your people along with these sacrificial offerings and defend those who celebrate your mysteries from every kind of danger through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the, the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed to see you comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <laughs> the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form our divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Oh God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Oh God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that is to hunt down my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of all errors, make us worthy of your promises from on high through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Amen.